Hello, and welcome to Sports by Compion. My name, of course, is Stephen Compion, and I'm joined here by a plethora of guests for a very special Madden episode. We do love our Madden around here at Sports by Compion, don't we, co-host and beautiful man who we can't quite see right now, but we still know he looks beautiful. Mr. Dan Gill, how are you, sir? I'm great. Just uh, heading home from work, and uh, yeah, Madden is a staple of the sports video game world. Even though it's terrible year after year, everyone still loves it. What a beautiful sport. But luckily, we'll get into this. Um, of course, co-host, co-host, Mr. Corey Copian, that guy himself. What mm -hmm. up, dude? Mm -hmm. How's it going over there? I'm back, freshly shaved, have no facial hair now, and a haircut. 80% hair removal. It's all It's all downside. Wow. You know? Wow. I downside know. I know. For the winter, no less. Around here. I like it. I like it. And our very special guest, of course, is Mr. Tim Timothy himself has come to join the pod. We are, he even has a sick-ass mic. He has a better mic than most of us already do. This is impressive. Tim in the house. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How about you guys? Oh, living the dream. I appreciate you coming on the pod. I'm, I'm excited Great to be here. Present. I I didn't get much of a rundown on anything, so just, just tell me what to do and when to do it, and I'm here. <laughs> oh, we are just here to hear about your amazing franchise. Uh, you were giving us a little bit of the uh, the lowdown before we hopped on here, but why don't we just uh, pick up from the start, Tim? So, big Madden guy, huh? Old school Madden guy, I guess. Um, I played it. Back like I'm I'm in my mid 30s, so back in like Madden 04, you know, and, okay. and even the earlier ones like 98 and all that, like I I played the hell out of. They them. were better back then, frankly. So they were fun as hell, and it really kind of struck a nerve. Like over the years, I just kind of fell out of playing the football games and Madden and all that, and mm -hmm. uh, it, you and many many of, others. Yeah, and and it struck me unusual as I was starting to tell you uh, before. Of um, a couple years ago, the Super Bowl ended, and me and my football-loving friend on the internet here just uh, kind of looked at each other like, okay, I guess that's football for a couple months. You know, we get to watch some off-season stuff and just, you know, watch our teams develop. And, you know, I'm a diehard Steelers fan. He's a diehard cheesehead. So, you know, there's just a lot to talk about, but not a lot of football to watch. So I decided, you know what, what if I load it up? just a, an old version of Madden that I have laying around and, and we just faked a franchise. So we started to do that. What, and uh, which of, version did you go with? Uh, originally went with 04. And okay. then I thought, well, hell, you can find later versions for cheap. Why not? So, you know, I jumped on, we tried 08 and we, we eventually settled on 06 because okay. the, the feature good, sets good for the franchise are slightly different and 06 was like a sweet spot for what we were doing 06 is really good good choice yeah on the ps2 at least uh later on i would go and find that 08 on the pc has everything i wanted oh okay <laughs> but you're in too deep now to change out quite a journey oh by the time i realized that we were like eight seasons into our franchise oh, so you're in too deep yeah, at that point, we, we just keep riding out. Like, we to this day, we still run. We're on, like, season 15 of our, our PlayStation 2 Madden 06 sim. <laughs> nice. But, like, get, get back to the beginning of this. You were mentioning a couple uh, interesting parts about it. So, going into it with, uh, with, yeah. your, with 06, basically what you picked. So, it kind of comes down to what we were doing. Now, our goal was we made 32 just junk like funny team names you know just here we're swapping out all the actual nfl teams with our goofy teams and then we each chose one and we were the managers for that team we would choose all all drafting all players all free agencies just everything was managed by us we chose the playbooks we handle all the the front office sort of stuff and then we simulate all the games so we wanted something yeah 100%. We are GMing our own teams. He's he's in the NFC, I'm in the AFC, and occasionally we, we meet together in the Super Bowl because we're both pretty good at doing this whole thing, but sometimes the 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 random the randomizer just decides, "No, you don't even make the playoffs this year." It's it's what a joke. <laughs> oh, that's so tough. So, it's very bad, and you get that real authentic NFL experience of like, hey, I really like what I got going on with this team. This team is stacked and great. What do you mean what do you mean we finished like 
horrible. Like, or that cannot be the actual record. Like, it, it, it's awful. So, you know, there's ups and downs with it. It's very real football exciting, and, and we enjoy that sort of thing. But we wanted something that allowed us both the ability to control two teams, because obviously we want to each have our own. Um, and the difference between 08 and 06 is pretty subtle, but it gives you more flexibility during, like, the, the rookie drafting period. Like, it... it there's this whole system in 06 that like tells you, oh yeah, this guy, he's not very smart, but he can really run. He, he runs amazingly fast, and you know, the, like the scouting reports are really, really in depth. And then in 08, they kind of dialed that back a little bit, and you didn't get as much. So we decided, you know, on 06 was like the sweet spot for what we were doing. Now, like if if somebody wanted to do something else, like if you only needed to manage one team, like. I've heard Madden 12 would be amazing for that. And and we actually did a little bit of that, but the simulator gets really wonky in some of the later versions. So we settled on 06 and we're pretty happy. <laughs> but so just to, uh, like my first thought on this was you did this in, you know, Madden 06. So obviously it's very old uh, players. Yeah. You've run this for 14 years. Any recognizable NFL name, they're out of the league. You're playing with all like nonsense made up names like, yeah. So these are all AI generated people. Like, so who's your who's your quarterback right now for your team? Um, Do you know his name? So it's kind of complicated in that, like, um, so when you do your custom teams, they start with this completely randomized roster. And since we kicked all the original teams out, the original NFL players were gone. So the only real people we had were whoever was a free agent at the time. So occasionally you'll see like a real portrait pop up on a player and you're like, oh, wow, that's a real person. That's like a jump scare at this point. <laughs> right. Because also they've been so, in the league for 14 years at this point, which is also amazing. Right. And, and at the 14 year mark, there are no real people left. Like it's all randomized players that came from rookie drafts when we, you know, the first couple years that we started the sim. But we also occasionally throw in our own created characters. Like it's just like, what well, wouldn't it be funny if we just created a running back with the big butt and you know really good running <laughs> stats but like he's horrible at some other thing and just see what he does you know so at one point i i, I don't know if you're familiar with the mystery science theater um 3000 um there was space mutiny where they spend the whole movie um like the main character was this action hero guy and they just call him random names the whole time like um big but large huge and just like they they come up with all these really action hero -y type names so a lot of our custom characters are those sorts of names or literally just copy pasted from it um and right now my quarterback is a custom player named mike truck and <laughs> we created him as a wouldn't it be funny if we just maxed out all the bars on a quarterback and no nobody could afford him what what would happen and when the game finally came around and we were drafting, it's like, oh, my team can afford him. So I drafted him. <laughs> no, it's like, I'm just going to be in Super Bowl every year. It's easy. You know, my, the center of my team is literally the perfect quarterback. Uh, instead, what happened was now I'm broke because he's the only thing I can afford. And right. he's also not performing up to his stats. So, like, oh, it, no. my team is no languishing in hell him. right now. He's trying is to sell that... 64 receivers. Like, these 64 receivers are like, trying to catch the ball for him. There's yeah, nobody yeah. on defense. Are you, right. you putting him at linebacker, too, just for shits and giggles? 100%. It, it's really awkward how it's kind of all come together. So, like, my buddy's team is perfectly balanced and well managed like he has a solid defense his quarterback is still really good i think it's like flint <laughs> iron stag or something and, and like his whole team is just really good and then just mine is just struggling he makes the super bowl just about every year it's incredible wow. so how do you decide when to run another year like is just you and your buddy are like hey let's hop on and you know have a flint iron stag get another championship or like just whenever you get bored, you give it another whirl? Absolutely. Like, if we're playing other games, we're, we're not worrying about the Madden Sim. But if we're just sitting around one night, it's like, hey, what if I fired up the Madden Sim? You got time for a football game or two? And then we watch a couple games of football just on the Madden simulator. And um, it, it's really <laughs> funny how even within, like, just watching two CPUs play each other, like, the games get kind of intense sometimes. You know, it's yeah. very real-life NFL-ish. Like, the plays aren't as exciting to watch because it's very kind of stilted and every player walks sure. like they have a stick up their butt. Um, but, like, 
you get to see the strategies kind of come together and like, what's the, what's the CPU going to do? It's like fourth and two, you know, yeah. what, what's their, okay. Are they going to just punt and give up or are they going to actually like actually make Go a play? Push. Right. And, yeah. and the CPU, this is like, Oh, six CPU. So like, they're not as bold as the modern NFL, but sometimes you just get these really wild scenarios and it's like just watching it play out is super fun. <laughs> Have you guys like ever thought about like streaming some of these? So that, that is a fascinating question because um, I, I'm I'm an IT guy by trade and um, kind of a wannabe programmer. Horrible at doing all that stuff. So I got it in my <laughs> head that what if I did the PC version instead of the PS2 version? And what would it take to do this same thing and try and automate a lot of the stuff that I usually have to do where it's like my buddy tells me I want to draft that cornerback so I have to hold the controller and, and just choose his cornerback and then go through all that well what if I had something that just pulled all the data out of the PC version and then you know I would have like a website design that's like okay yeah I want to you know this is the this is the rookie list I, I this is what I want let's just draft this and just automate the whole thing and in my head it was like that shouldn't be too hard and it hasn't been easy at all. And in the end goal, <laughs> is obviously automating me and my buddies sim would be super fun. Making that automatic would be cool. But if I did that much work, I could automate the whole thing and have it stream and have it to where people could enjoy this with us. And that's where I've completely stagnated because I thought in my head, like, oh, this would be so easy to set up. And it has not been. I do not have the skill set necessary. So like right now, I need I need people who can kind of help me essentially mod the hell out of this game. <laughs> and yeah, uh, automate. There's, not, there's not a streaming port for it, but maybe you could do one of the just as simple as a uh, you know, screen record. And we could definitely stream it here on uh, Sports by Comp, but some of our people would be happy to watch it. Yeah, and, um, and what... What could be done, like I actually have a, a, a side computer here that I have set up for all this and I'm getting a graphics card that can handle like the actual video encoding because right now it doesn't have that. Um, and then I'll be able to stream from it. And even if it's me using my mouse to click through and be like, OK, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this and have that stream that could be entertaining. Um, yeah. But it's a lot of time. You know, if you want to simulate sure. an entire season and have There's every game of- played. I'm not going to be sitting at my computer, you know, 12 hours a day doing that for right. an audience. Um, it's just not feasible. So right. that's why I want to automate it. But again, there, there's a lot before I can get to that point. That'd be interesting. I like how Steven's cat just like pops up, just like, I'm <laughs> part of this so now. Cute. What's good? I'm, I'm yeah. in the stream. Yeah, I'm using the stream now. It's incredible. Uh, but anyway, cute. that's pretty, pretty fun. So... Um, what if, who has the most rings in it? Is it your buddy so far? And how many rings did you have? Yeah, it's definitely my buddy. I think he's got four. Wow. Um, and I think I have two. And both of okay. mine were very early on. I even beat him in a Super Bowl once. And that was like, all right, I, I got him in the Super Bowl. But then he right. proceeded to like stomp me every time we'd uh, come up against each other. So like, I, I've just been languishing in absolute like hell. Even before I got this quarterback, like I was, I was going through it. And just couldn't yeah, turn him. it around. <laughs> Sounds like you should trade him for a bunch of draft picks and just yeah. rebuild the friend. Rebuild the, the best as next every year, build what, time. What's the name of your team? Oh, uh, okay. So as I as I had told you before, um, I replaced all the teams with my own, and they're purely like stupid, just joke names. Right. I I am the GM of the Saganda Balls. Nice. Uh, which is Sagan just balls. Sagan Sagan balls. Balls. Solid. my rival is the the ligma nuts of course, <laughs> of course. naturally, <laughs> naturally. and and the ligma nuts was the original like team that i made that was like when we did the first sim one team just like we'll figure out how all this yeah. works that was the team i was like okay this is just this is the stupidest thing i can think of let's go with that so then we had to make a whole division of those style of names perfect that makes sense. so this seems like it could be like the coolest thing if you could do it like you and uh instead of doing like fantasy football like you and a handful of your buddies all have a team in this league where like you each manage them and like once week they play or something yeah yeah and it would be super fun to be able to do that and if you get more people involved 
I would really want the ability for someone else in the group to go to a portal website and be like, okay, this is my current team. This is my matchup next week. What kind of management decisions do I want to do? Do I need to fill in any spots on my team, make some trades, you know, just handle all that stuff without having to be like, Hey Tim, um, you know, I really want to check what kind of defense I'm running right now. Uh, I think I'm four, three right now. Can you change it over to something else? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Just, or you leave it open with like team viewer and then just everyone gets like a one hour window where they can log into the team viewer and they can manage their team. Yeah, that could very well work. I think that would be a lot simpler than kind of my lofty goals of, you know, <laughs> having a whole like stat extraction machine and like, okay, here are all the stats of all the players and hey, you know, like goals. You got to have goals. Absolutely. Goal. Absolutely. It's really funny because like there's a, uh, there's a forum, I think it's football idiot. Um, and it is people dedicated to modding Madden 08. And wow. it's so funny because they have built so many tools and so many wild things that these people have done. And they are just absolutely genius at what they are doing, but they built their tools for their purposes. They did right. not build their tools for my purposes. So I would have to add on to the work that they have done quite extensively but a lot of the groundwork that i wouldn't even think is possible they've already done so like i know there's a glimmer of hope that it's all possible and i, I want to pull yeah, it all man, together this is, this is deep deep man i heard this at a bachelor party over beers and i was like listen man this sounds wild and i'm too drunk to understand it now but come on the podcast and explain it to me and all the good people sports my did I did quite realize that um, that much modding could still be done with some of these older Maddens, but it makes sense. And why wouldn't mm -hmm. you? Because, yeah, people still refer to that 08, you know, the, the earlier, like before you get to 2010 in general, like all pretty decent, 25 was decent, but man, have they fallen off the last couple of years. And they just take away features for no reason. <laughs> they just they just take away, like, hey, here's a new game, less features. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you like from last year's. It's sorry, we took it's that out. Now we have, that's not here anymore. Man, I'm playing the 22. So, and it's just ridiculous the run animation in it. You can literally just run the ball all the time because your defense has no idea. If one guy hits the dude in the gap and it's one of those, oh, the running back may run through him, but you have another guy running right next to him, both on defense, right? The other guy on defense will just run right through both of them. He's like, you got that right, bro? I got places to be. <laughs> You're one guy gets run over and runs like nine yards. And you're like, but there was two guys there. <laughs> anyway, Every time. What, what were you saying, Dan? No, so like I know in a lot of games, like for career mode, you can only play like allegedly 20 to 25 seasons and then it auto retired you. Like, are you worried about <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. your franchise? Well, actually, the older versions of Madden, I'm I've been reading, and we're 14 seasons in. You know, we're we're committed. Like at this point, I want to see it to the end. But apparently, there's a hard limit in the PS2 versions of 30 seasons, and I think that was more of a technical limit because, like, especially with the like replacing all the teams with our own, the stat windows are all buggy. Like, it doesn't tell you. Like, if you look at the history of a player, it'll tell you, oh, yeah, in 2005 he was in this team. In 2006 he was on this team. Ours just says NA, not applicable. It just, none of that history even works. So, like, uh, it's held together from, from way back in the day. It was held together with string. And the modern versions are just, like, they're a shiny coat of paint. Like, the game animations do look better. Like when you, like I was saying before, these older versions, all the player animations, they're like walking straight up with like yeah. completely weird stilted animations. And like when I see the newer Maddens, I'm like, oh, that looks like real football. I would kill to have that, but they have none of the behind the scenes features that we would use. No and the, and the gameplay as animation of it is not nearly as good as you'd like for like as deep into it as they are. Like, how have you not figured this out? Why does it still look so sloppy? Right. I mean, and... especially with the NCAA coming back next year. Oh, thank God. Like, not to get too deep into, like, actual game development, because it's kind of a sad point, but that's most modern games. They kind of just release a game broken, and then they're like, we're just going to patch it. Like, Call of Duty, it, one of the wor every year they release just a worse, more broken version of Call of Duty. And I, I just stopped buying the new ones, because they're just, they're terrible, dude. And, As like, the patches are We all, we are all stop buying new games. And send a message to these gaming companies. Fucking do better. 
I wait like a couple yeah. of years before I buy my Maddens because they're all the same. If anything, they've gotten worse. So really, I'm buying it because I want the new updated off rosters. Like, it's you weird know? that Baldur's Gate came out and it was like, this is the best game ever. And given it, it is a really amazing, fun game. But its biggest selling point was it's playable day one. Like, it came out and it didn't have any game-breaking <laughs> bugs. It, like, worked. And then the whole gaming... Uh, like the people who make games are like, oh well, you know they had so long to do it. You can't expect us to be able to do that because this and the other thing. It's like, no, we we expect you to be able to give us a finished, functioning product. That makes sense to me. Before we we get off this train of throwing gaming companies under the bus, the new GTA Six. How many mods are going to have to be done on that thing? How many times it's got to go under production and just updated in general? They've had like twelve years to make this game, and there's still going to be like so many things. So I bet. <laughs> They got three more years to put it together. <laughs> Good luck, you noob. I might, I might like, get it by the time I'm 60. <laughs> <laughs> for real. It'll be just in time for my retirement. I'll be able to play GTA 6. <laughs> Let's go. Right. It'll, remind you, it'll remind us of our youth. So, uh, I remember playing damn. GTA 3. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Good time. So, do you remember the game NFL Head Coach? No. I never bought it, but I do know what you're talking I, about. I used to have it. Because this is like literally, I think this game would be perfect for what you're doing because you are the head coach or GM of the team, of any team that you want. And you call all you do is call plays. But it's like cool. You can watch it from the sideline view, and your team plays out what you pick. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's a little bit deeper than what we're doing right now because we don't even get the call plays. We just watch the head coach make bad decisions. It's wonderful. Yeah, no, the thing <laughs> is, you can't you can't change like you can't edit teams like in Madden. So sure. like, you'd use the regular roster, but like that almost makes me think of like this might be like a good a good I don't want to say alternative because I love that you guys like how deep you guys are on, but like you know maybe it's another option to run another thing for you. Sure. Yeah, and and you know we're not set in stone. Like obviously we're going to keep doing the the long running one just because that's just something that we do at You're this point. Deep. It's been years. Like it, it's been almost three years real time. You know, fifteen. There there was a previous sim, so probably about twenty years of like simmed in game time that we've played through. So like we're we're committed in that, and we're having a blast with it. Like my 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 quarterback's about to be off of his contract and I'll just let him go and then we'll see what happens and I get to I get to play recovery like all right let's recover this team let's bring it back and, and that that's super fun but at the yeah. same time like there's nothing stopping me that in other free time I could just load up NFL head coach and you know if, if that works that way then by all means I I would love to do that especially like I don't know if they had a PC version PC games are moddable you know I could probably mod my own teams in and with Madden 08 um on the PC like the PS2 version, you could build your own teams within the game. Um, in Madden 08, you can't franchise your custom teams. So you have to mod them in, which I've learned how to do. Like I've figured all this stuff out. So like th those limitations exist in all the games. And if, if people have figured out how to mod head coach, then that sounds like it would be really entertaining. <laughs> sure now, have. Was, um, was it Madden 10 that had the double cover of like Paul Malo and Fitzgerald? Madden 10, yeah, I believe so. Because I remember I had that, and you could do an online franchise. You can, like, invite people. And, I mean, this game, dude, was way, like, some of the features of it, I would say, was, was before their time. Because there was a companion app that you could, like, view your roster and do roster management from your phone. And it would tie back to the online platform. What? Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's what I'm saying, dude. Madden just like, takes away cool ass features. They're like, that cool was too much work. We're going to have to cut that whole thing. Yeah, but I never had enough people that wanted to do franchise mode to, like, really was, basically, um, do, basically do what Tim did. Because I'm like, guys, like, like, look, I'm a Packers fan. Uh, I had a buddy that he's a Jets fan, one that was a Ravens fan, and one that was a, a Falcons fan. And I'm like, look, we're evenly balanced, two and two, AFC, NFC. So, like, Nobody's got a guaranteed run to the Super Bowl, but we could like never get it all together to do it. 
That's a shame. That'd be fun. I'd Would be have down. been very fun. But I actually want to play through the games because, you know, that's the fun part for me at least. Right, I right. Think our, I think our deal was the only games we would play was against each other. Interesting. Yeah. Well, anyway, we could definitely figure something out. Um, but some pretty good coverage about this. Uh, does anyone have any last questions for our boy Tim here? Um, if I may, um, my yeah. one, I'm just putting it out there. Like I said, I'm a horrible uh, technologist and programmer. I'm looking for people who can help me out from the technology side of these plans. So if there are any uh, game automation experts out there, let me know. Please I, hit uh, up the channel. Yeah, yeah. Leave Turius, a comment. I'm, we'll get that's, into Tim. That's Absolutely. me everywhere. <laughs> we <laughs> thank will, you, guys. We will, we will find out and we will send them the information. Tim, thank you so much for coming on and uh, breaking down this this uh, pretty interesting idea. It's uh, a lot of cool stuff to think about here. Um, voice, any last questions for him at all? Yeah, um, if thirty, if season thirty is truly the end, uh, I want you to allow us to experience it with you. Oh yes, please. <laughs> that final Super Bowl, I will stream it to the masses. Absolutely, I'll let you all know. <laughs> we'll call it. We'll call. Uh, we'll call all the big networks. Big networks, right. for sure. Absolutely. I mean, sports like copy is really up there, you know. All right, we 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 do a lot of sports coverage around right here. Let me tell you. Sweet. Well, once again, thank you to Tim for coming on. Um, Steve just left. Sports. <laughs> Cut off. Wow. Um, how do we stop the recording? Is he the only one who can? I'm not home, so I can't do it. Best I can do is leave. It's giving me the option to leave if I want. I can leave as well. <laughs>